Well, hi there, folks. This is Excel Super Nerd here to teach you more Excel and VBA goodness. We're going to look at getting values from a multi select list box. Um, we're trying to use a list box to get more than one value. Here on the left, we've got a single, and on the right, we've got a multi or extend. Um, just matters on how you select more than one value between those two, but the point is that you get more than one. Um, you'll notice here, here I've got my source for the values, the same source for both list boxes. Um, and if I, I can link this cell um, to this specific one, and that way if it's single, I can choose a value and it changes to the index. Notice it's hard-coded in that cell. You can go back and pause and I basically said if uh, C9 equals 1, please be Adam. If it's 2, be Eve. And I just manually did that. Um, I can make this uh, like, a, like a lookup table or you know, just basically hard-code that in somehow so that the index in C9, which is what it gives you in the cell link, it gives you one through the length of your list box values um, in the linked cell and not the actual value. You can just make an if formula or a lookup or you know however you want to implement that. But um, over here on the right, um, even if I selected one, if it's a multi or extend list box, even if I selected one, it's not going to give me that one index in the cell. The one is there in G9 just because it was a, a, a single select before I changed it. Um, now, these are both form controls. Um, I made another video where I didn't figure out how to do it with form controls yet. But what I want to do is collect uh, more than one value from this and use it, you know, programmatically, not just be able to see a blue line highlighting. Aha! So look at this. Now this isn't really linked to G9 through the linked cell. I'm actually using code to change that. Um, I'm sorry, this is a single cell link. Now it's a multi. And... Oh! I made VBA code to message box out however many, and notice this isn't changing here in the linked cell anymore because it's a multi or extend list box. It doesn't change. Um, but what I have is on, I think it's like on uh, list box change. Oh, and what happens is I have the comma in front. Um, so I had to move this around. I had to, uh, what was it here? Um, there we go. Just messed up my logic there. So now on change, basically, I take the values and join them with a comma on the bottom there. See, that's g10.value equals join. And uh, what did I do here? Oh. Uh, not only did I add that, but I'm going to have to make selected ones a... Um, see, I'm making the value of that cell equal to join selected ones with a comma. I've got to make selected ones a string array instead of an integer array. Because I, I could have um, joined the string value of selected ones, um, but instead of cast them as a string, I just made them integers. And see, it'll give me that green triangle in the corner of the box. These numbers are, um, displayed as strings. Um, and, uh, that's how you get your multi-select list box to operate and give you an output. And of course, even the snake one. Ha ha! Subscribe, comment, have a good day, and uh, I'm going to turn this thing off here.